सो हेलो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक वेलकम टू योर चैनल कुकिंग एस्ट्रोलॉजी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग माई चैनल एंड लाइकिंग माई वीडियोज थैंक्स लॉट सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू आर जर्नी अवर सीरीज ऑफ प्लैनेट्स थ्रू हाउसेज इन अपमान चार्ट इन वेदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड प्लैनेट वीनस प्लेसमेंट इन द सेकेंड हाउस ऑफ योर नपमान चार्ट एंड वट आर गोइंग टू बी द रिजल्ट डेट आर पर्टिकुलरली एसोसिएटेड विद दिस प्लेसमेंट See, first of all, Venus. Whenever this is getting connected with the second house of your Navmash Kundli, this is going to be a ever-expanding placement. So here, Venus will constantly find for ways to actually increase my contribution in the marriage or specifically in the relationship aspect. Now, it's not necessary that is the contribution I'm only talking about over the financial grounds. that is one way of venus contribution that how can i become financially independent so that I, i can provide some sort of financial security to my family the second main concern of this venus is more connected with the emotional side as well like how can i provide that level of emotional support to my wife or towards my husband so only in two different ways or maybe there are some other ways of giving some sort of a contribution this venus tend to feel very very comfortable over there but on the other hand if that level of comfort or security is not present over there then it become very very difficult for the planet like venus in the second house to survive over there although it depend upon the dignity of venus in both of your kundalis in your d1 natal chart or even in the d9 chart as well but for example specifically if you are a male watching this video venus is the representation of a wife in a male chart so if the dignity of venus is really very powerful when i say powerful so it may be posited in its own zodiac sign of the libra taurus or may be exalted in the sign of pisces so if your venus is in very well dignified condition in the d1 and even in the d9 chart in your second house what is going to happen immediately as soon as you are getting married or you are getting even closer to marriage like you know with whom i'm going to get married in my life this venus will open the flood gates of financial prosperity into your life because venus in the second house will always try to protect you and the biggest protection factor with this venus is specifically you can see from the financial ground second important thing if you are a female watching this video and you are having the connection of venus placement very strong in the d1 and even in the d9 chart chart what is going to happen this will give you an edge over the other females because this venus in the second house will feel very comfortable specifically from the emotional standpoint of you because the exchange of energy with this venus is going to become very very easy or you can also consider the understanding between you and your partner is going to be becoming very stronger with the passage of time because even if you plot your navmash kundli the 7th house particularly that is the house of your partner like the directly opposite first to 7th that is your spouse or your life partner so that second house is actually becoming the 8th house for your spouse and life partner now venus is actually connected with the second house so that big is acting as a transformative venus so this venus have the ability to bring major and sudden transformations immediately after marriage now it depend upon whether it is posited in the sign of virgo debilitated in the mercury in zodiac sign so in whichever zodiac sign this venus is posited this is going to give results particularly from that areas of your life now it's not necessary as i told you if its dignity is very powerful only then venus will give you that level of security or comfort even for example if venus is debilitated in the second house or if it is not well posited like in the some animical zodiac sign still this venus have the ability to offer you its significance so the main significance of venus is actually luxury comfort and even there is going to be once spiritual aspect which is strongly rooted inside this venus so here their spiritual growth is also interlinked with the materialistic growth if these individuals whether you are a male or a female you are having venus in the second house you will see in your life 
as soon as you are progressing materialistically in your life like you are earning a great amount of money or maybe a decent amount of money and you know how to use that money so that utilization part of your money in your day to day life how to actually use that money in order to increase your comforts or other thing this will take you one step closer towards the pathway of spirituality here don't think like that i am not getting married i'm not be able to look at my household my wife my kids and these things and i'm going to attain that that salvation or moksha or i'm going to go extreme towards the spirituality i will tell you with this venus in the second house suppose the event of marriage is delayed there are many circumstances which can delay the marriage of 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 a native it may be saturn or some other placement from d1 and d9 or combination of both the charts but for example if that placement is delayed then at some point in your life this venus is going to give you stagnation stagnation mean okay you are growing in your life you are achieving something so it become very very difficult for you to break that bond you have reached up to that level financially and even that mental blockage is present over there so if you are not finding ways to utilize your wealth in a proper way it become very difficult for you to grow further in your life i'm not talking about here this venus is acting as a spend theft kind of a venus or this is going to be a very like luxurious kind of a venus no the utilization of money because venus is more looking for the new and new experiences in my life that is why this is gaining or exchanging the 8th house energy on constant basis 8th house is not only you this is actually the combination of you and your life partner how well you are with your life partner in order to handle the adverse situations of your life if you are suppose right now in the good time you are doing very great in your life so it means okay that is going to put a lot of good impact over that marriage and married life aspect but venus is that single most planet which have the ability to deal with the adversities as well because venus tend to create a that sort of a bond in the second house which no other planet is capable of building because whenever it comes to the question of the scorpion energy the sign of scorpio or the 8th house energy there are very few planets that have the capacity to deal with it that is only venus and jupiter they have that ability to bring some sort of auspiciousness even from the negative grounds of the scorpio so you can see that venus is constantly exchanging its energy with the 8th house as well so that is becoming the 8th house of you and second house is becoming the 8th house of your life partner so that transformation is specifically going to be happening only in this venus if you are also want to go one step much deeper look into your timings vimshotri mahadasha whenever you are going to hit the antardasha of this venus i'm giving you one sutra here whenever you are hitting the antardasha of the venus and it may be any other your main mahadasha may be of any other planet but whenever this venus is coming in the antardasha this is going to create that 360 degree turn in your life it may be this will change your mental perception it may be this will change your physical attitude towards life your way of looking into things because this venus is going to hit you hard not only on the materialistic ground also on the spiritual ground as well so this is going to be a very fantastic placement don't think like this venus in the second house is not at all good placement i will tell you depending upon its factors the significance of venus will always remain protected in the second house so that is the positivity which venus have to offer and even don't think like that as i mentioned it previously like only that spiritual growth in my life is necessary without enough materialistic growth or without achieving that sufficient level of financial security in your life it become very difficult for you to follow that path of spiritualism specifically in the 21st century in the ancient days okay you can become a sadhu you can go to mountains and you can live over there you can live your life as a monk but in the 21st century that is not possible and venus and jupiter these benefic planets or these auspicious planets if they are connected with that second house so they that have that ability to offer you something and that offering of something it may be in the form of relationship it may be form of marriage that is only for your spiritual growth 
it is not necessary now you will say my first relationship is very bad with Venus in the in the second house or I'm going to have on and off kind of a relationship it may be I feel totally broke like my girlfriend or my boyfriend is not up to that level I'm not having that level of understanding with that particular person here you need to understand one thing Venus is the ever expanding placement so this is keep on expanding keep on growing so this is growing your mindset your your ability to look into that small problems from that bigger scale right now suppose there is one problem which is present in front of you and you are thinking this is the big challenge because you are not having that expanding ever expanding Venus in the second house so you might going to look into in that way but if the benefits they gain control over second house they become ever expanding so when you expand something other there are going to be other spaces as well which will increase the flow of possibilities right now suppose you are only having one solution there is one big problem you are only having one solution it may be there are any other possibilities as well so that is with Venus in second house this will expand something so this is going to expand the possibilities of looking into the different solutions to different parameters or through different perspective that is why I personally consider this placement of Venus is a very great placement specifically in the second house of your Nabanj Kundli. So I hope you have gained some deep insights in this video with me. If you have having any queries, any consultations with regards to your Venus or any other placement, any other marriage, career or spiritual or business consultation, do let me know. I will try my best to respond you back as soon as possible. So till then, please subscribe my channel below. And make sure to hit the like button if you really enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. And I'm going to get back to you with new videos very, very soon. So till then, please take care. Bye-bye.